I am beyond ecstatic to finally have made it onto Helldivers 2. Um, a lot of you know that I'm a Battlefield content creator, sp specifically 2042, but with news last week that they came out, they're actually canceling uh, the live service for the game. So they're gonna have a couple more updates kind of sprinkled throughout the rest of the year, updates that we already know about, but basically the content for the game is dead. So I need a new game to kind of fill the downtime between now and the next Battlefield drop. And I've had people in my chat coming in asking me about Helldivers. So that time has finally come. We are here, boys. We are headed for democracy. So far for me, the leveling and progression system in Helldivers 2 has been a very pleasant experience. Com compared to other games when you load up nowadays, the first thing you get hit with is, ooh, look at this skin. Ooh, look at this battle pass. Ooh, look at this bundle. Blah, blah, blah. Like, microtransaction, microtransaction. Like, I don't feel like I'm getting, that is getting shoved down my throat when I play Helldivers, and it's very refreshing. The, there's in-game currency that you acquire just by simply playing the game. And with that, I've been able to unlock weapons, uh, gadgets like grenades. I've been able to unlock armor, uh, capes, um, new equipment. I've been able to unlock even the currency that you would actually pay real money for, the the super credits. You would you would, you can actually go into the store and the, the super store and buy super credits uh, with real money. But guess what? You can find that currency in game. You can find that currency in game. So you, you sure you can you can spend real money and buy cosmetics, but you don't have to because if you as long as you play the game, you do your objectives. Guess what? You get currency that you can use to progress through the war bonds. You you can unlock all the weaponry and stuff. It doesn't. It, it is not a pay to win experience. And I am so so happy about the model and the way that they've gone about this. Regardless of what difficulty you play on though, the leveling system does feel rewarding. I feel like I've accomplished something and each round I look forward to, you know, uh, setting up the next mission, you know, traveling to that next that next planet or that next objective. Um, you know, just all the little details in this game just have really blown me away. And the game actually works. I can go to my, my friends list, I can, I can invite people to my ship. You know, we can we can complete side missions. If we're already in battle with three of my friends, we're already started the planet. Guess what? My my fourth friend, he can still drop in right in the in the middle of battle, join us, and he can still extract and get all the XP the same way we did. So they just really went above and beyond with this game, and and I look forward to grinding it. I really do. I'm not sure if any of you grew up playing Star Wars Battlefront, but it was just an instant classic for me as a kid, and. There was this one mode called Galactic Conquest. And I just absolutely love that whole like larger scale. Like you're trying, to, you're, you're working towards this one main objective. Well, Helldivers has kind of brought something similar over into this game and it's community based and it's incredible. Um, so what, what we have here is you go over to this table here, got the Galactic War. We've got Super Earth, which we obviously have to protect. We've got major orders uh, over here on the right side of the screen. The major orders are kind of like weekly challenges for the entire community to get involved. You go to certain planets, you either attack, defend, whatever, you liberate them, you get a reward at the end. It's super cool. You keep the, the community involved in an experience. Uh, but like in real time, we can, tr like last night, I was, this planet was not liberated. I was helping clear this planet literally last night, but today obviously we can see it's been liberated. So it's time to, you know, move on to the next objective. We can see in real time, these planets, uh, how many Helldivers are on the planets? We can see them with like the percentage just went up just now, which means a squad completed their mission, extracted, or they, they um, you know, uh, defeated the bugs on, on that particular sector. So it's so cool that you can see this stuff in real time. But the different planets, you know, they've got different, uh, different environments, the fire tornadoes or the snow. Like I've played on only a handful of different planets so far, but... There's all these incredible environments to get involved with. Um, so this is my ship here, but we also, even if the major orders are to kill the the bugs, right? The, they, they want us to focus on the bugs. Well, guess what? I can still go over here and fight the automatons on Martel if I want. Like I get to choose. And there's, guess what? There's 40,000 hell divers over here and they are liberating away. It, it's just, it's incredible to me what they have done uh, for this game and how community focused it is. And you can see that. You can see that with how the players are reacting on social media and other videos that I see online of people. Like the social aspect of this game, they have absolutely nailed it. 
And I've kind of thought to myself, like looking at this, like, well, what happens if you, like, if we liberate all of these planets, if we, you know, if we get all these sectors liberated, well, I, I feel like, well, first of all, all these are like their home automaton worlds, you know, th th these are going to be in, in, I mean, look, look at the name of this planet, Vin, Vindimitrix Prime, I mean, that is the arch nemesis planet right there, I mean, think about how difficult that's going to be to take. But something else to consider, I feel like for, this is a live service game, right? I mean, this is how you do live service right here. They could bring in like a third race, you know, like we got the uh, the, the bots and the bugs, but what if they bring in like some aliens down here? Uh, I've heard some rumors about like a species called the Inheritors. I don't know if that's actually true or whatever, but like, I'm just kind of envisioning like the Covenant, right? From Halo, that's kind of what I'm thinking. But like imagine the Covenant just pulling up down here in the South and like, oh shit, now we've got to fight the bots, the bugs and the aliens down here. Like, like I just think that the potential for this game is incredible. The, the, the foundation, the groundwork has been laid. I think the possibilities are endless. One of my favorite parts of Helldivers has got to be the stratagems. These are your kill streaks, if you will. You get to bring a total of four of them with you uh, when you drop into combat. And these can be anything uh, from like a support weapon that you can call in, such as like a rocket launcher, a flamethrower, a cannon, a machine gun, or it can be an orbital strike, which is gonna be things like a, a missile barrage or a laser or a rail cannon strike, air burst, like all these, you know, crazy high damage orbital uh, cannons, basically. Uh, another option you can have is going to be like a Eagle airstrike or Eagle smoke or Eagle 500 kilo bomb. You know, there's all these cool, um, different, uh, stratagems available to you and you can mix and match. So there's just potentially thousands of cool possibilities and, you know, different stratagems obviously are better for the bugs. Some are better for the bots. Yes, there are ones that are a little bit more meta. You know, there there are S tier and uh, D tier stratagems. Uh, some of them are OP. Some of them need to be nerfed or buffed or, you know, whatever the circumstance. The point is there's a lot of flexibility. You build the kit however you want. And I love that about this game. Uh, you also have more defensive situations. You've got uh, turrets that you can place down, shields that you can place, mines. Uh, you can have a a backpack that you put on and it basically has a it's a uh, a guard dog essentially that will follow around and, and shoot any bad guys that are around you um, which you know the, in the backpacks too I mean you can have uh, ammo backpacks you can have shield backpacks there's all this different utility and your team you know your team benefits from this utility as well uh, I've really enjoyed messing around with the turrets uh, they're not super super good but they're just fun to you know mess around with essentially you just have a uh, this massive cannon next to you that just mowing down enemies and just kind of fighting side by side with it. I, I just think the sentries are pretty cool. But yeah, the stratagems are there for that extra support that you need, you know, in combat. You've got all, all these different bugs or a, a smaller enemies in front, front of you. And then, uh oh, here comes this massive dropship with uh, a tank or, oh, here comes this bile titan crawling out of the ground. You need something massive. You need air support. That's when the stratagems come in. That's when uh, those epic moments happen, which, to be honest, every moment in this game uh, is, is pretty damn epic. All right, so this planet's liberated. Let's go, let's go over here. Boom. Welcome to Hellmire. different planet okay sick but you know what i want to go actually i want to do this objective first guess what we're already on the planet let's just let's do a quick rotation look at this tell me this isn't the coolest loading screen you've ever seen huh and supposedly all these other ships are all real players as well i don't know if that's true but yeah, so now I'm at that I'm at, I'm at that second objective. I can to start the mission, I just jump in the hell pod and yeah, lock and load. This game is awesome. The gameplay for Helldivers kind of puts me in a different position than what I'm used to. Uh, I mean, I can't really tell you the last time I've played a multiplayer PvE type of game. I mean, I'm I've always been on PvP games. Um, so this has been kind of an eye-opening experience to me and I feel like I'm kind of 
coming out of a, a dark cave that I've been stuck in for so many years, but I I can't I feel like I can't say enough good things about the Helldivers. It's I really I mean it's only been a couple days uh, so far, but it's just been it's been fun with friends. It's been fun solo. It's been cool just like learning the game and you know navigating the planets and you know checking out the you know each planet has its own little thing going on there this one has a, a fire tornado this one's rocky um it it feels unique each experience has felt unique and even when you're on the planet you think well you're just doing you're on the same planet you're just killing the same enemies doesn't that get boring no no because you have different objectives you have different difficulties different types of enemies it's not the same exact uh enemies every single time uh they may come at you in different different uh swarms they may you know come at you from a drop ship or you know however they may approach you could be different each time uh the stratagems in which you use on each mission could be different um you know you could approach it differently and that's the cool thing i like you create your own experience it's not forced you're not forced to use this specialist you're not forced to use this gear you can use whatever you want that's what makes it so fun um but as far as like on the planets you know you, you all these different little uh, you you want to try to liberate as much as possible, right? You want to try to get rid of as, as many bugs or as many automatons as you can. But while you're down there, you have uh, main objectives. You have little side objectives you can do. These can be things like uh, verifying a mining location. You have to turn on a generator, perhaps. Maybe you have to destroy this um, this bot factory. Maybe you have to destroy this radar jammer. There's all these incredible little missions and um activities that you find yourself doing and you're just like walking around the map you know you you, you plan your drop strategically so that way you know let's rotate around the map because you want to clear as many bad guys as possible so you plan the hell drop accordingly you rotate around the map you're fighting bad guys over here you're escorting civilians over here orbital strike over here i mean it's just it's a movie it's like it's a michael bay movie 24 7 on this game it's incredible um, I, I don't I don't know how these guys pulled this off and the graphics I don't know I mean I'm on a pretty nice PC but the graphics look incredible and I have some stuff kind of turned down just for FPS purposes but I mean the lighting the graphics the planets the the enemies you know it's it's kind of like um, a little bit of left for dead vibes you know you've you, you got the the gore the 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 arms flying off the, you know you shoot a rocket launcher at an armored bug and exposes his whole insides and then you just you know you light him up light up his guts you know like it's just the detail in this game like the more i play it the more details that i find and it's just i'm blown away i'm blown away something i think that the devs have done very well with this game is the level of immersion i feel it's just right off the bat starting with the tutorial i feel just right away involved with the you know the fight for democracy and like the the way that they just put you through the tutorial the way that they get you right active into the game boom like five minutes into the game i'm 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 pumped up for democracy i want to kill some bugs i, I have my own ship like I, i'm ready i'm locked and loaded like five to ten minutes into the game i'm locked and loaded i can drop on my first planet and i know exactly what's going on sure i didn't know how to navigate all the menus and you know do all this and that but i'm brand new to the game like that will come with time and guess what it did the atmosphere the immersion the diving the music like the the environments everything that they have done just put into one complete package and they are selling it to us for 40 dollars. I, I as a battlefield player this is this is unheard of i mean a complete video game with with content and a good live service model and i don't have to continuously pay to to win with like armor upgrades and all this kind of unnecessary monetization although after hearing that soundtrack a couple of times i might have to start paying them because the fight for democracy is just music to my freaking ears i love it and then when you do the mission accomplished you call in an airstrike and the da 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 you mission accomplished i'm just like hell yeah like democracy like i'm fucking pumped like i don't know it's just th this, this game just gets me riled up and i'm just excited i'm just like very excited playing this game and i want to i want to keep playing it with that being said obviously 
my content creation is kind of in a weird spot right now because most of my following, I would say 90% of my following is through Battlefield. So it's difficult for me to kind of bounce between games being a smaller creator. With that being said, if you if y'all do enjoy the Helldivers content, let me know. I would love to keep producing videos around this game. I don't exactly know the format of how I'm going to do this moving forward. Obviously, I want to do the best job I can to be as entertaining as possible. But this is just starting out. This is going to be my first video, so I just hope that it I hope that it plays well and I hope that y'all enjoy it. But uh, we're going to have some some gameplay here to kind of finish up. But yeah, I mean, I I can't say enough positive things about this game. Honestly, I hope that I can keep playing it and uh, keep spreading democracy. If you have questions about the game, if you have questions, you know, if there's certain guides or certain things you want to see nice. from me, um, please let me know. Uh, I would love to, like I said, I would love to continue making content around this game. I really do enjoy it. I love playing with my friends as well. Um, but yeah, that's going to wrap it up for me today. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. And I'll see you next time.